chess friends, today is Tuesday night, and I played with Hikaru and Magnus Carlsen together, I mean one versus two chess variational game, where you are playing with two players in a same chess board. It is a truly amazing chess game, the game rule is very simple, if Hikaru plays wrong move but Carlsen finds best move then the computer will choose Carlsen's move, same thing will happen with Magnus Carlsen also, so, let's go, I started with d4, they choose to play e6, I played London system, you all human said it's a drawable opening, yes, it's a drawable opening for you, not for mine, I want to sacrifice my bishop like this, they pushed that pawn. They knows that if Stockfish brings his bishop to target a pawn then he will sacrifice that bishop, if you sacrifice your bishop in the opening, then it will be a blunder, but if I sacrifice my bishop then it will be a brilliant move, that's the difference between you and me, we are not the same, ok e3, queen comes to b6 to target this pawn, knight on a3, you can't take this pawn, let me show you why, if it happen then, knight here, to deliver a fork, so if you bring your knight to protect this, then I will play a3, trapping the queen into my b2 square, how will you protect the queen, huh, so, back to the position we have d5 by Hikaru and Magnus, knight comes to b5, knight on a5, a4, Hikaru played c4, closing the position and making pawn chain, c3 by me, Magnus wants to bring the knight, which is not considered as a best move, again Hikaru played best move e7, b3, takes, takes, knight goes to f6, they want to play castle, knight f3, castle, bishop to d3, getting the diagonal, I want to play knight here. Knights on the middle square are always more useful and profitable, queen here, adding pressure on this diagonal, so, they moved their knight on h5, targeting the bishop on f4, so the bishop moved away, f6, queen back to c2, here I sacrificed my bishop to making some problems on kingside, if you afraid to take the bishop and make any other move like h6, then I will push my pawn to eliminate the knight, this will open up the g-file for my rook, and you know what. Bishop and queen battery on this diagonal will be dangerous for black, so black take the bishop with closing the eyes, bishop takes check, king to h8, pawn takes e5, this blocks the knight's escaping routes, we have bishop e7, bishop g6, knight back to f6, pawn takes, takes, castle, bishop backs, rook b1, here Hikaru wants to take the bishop, but it's not the best move, therefore I will take back it with my queen, push the h-pawn to create problems on the h-file, black king will face a terrible situation. Move back your knight to target this pawn, so, Magnus played best move knight c5, bishop takes bishop, rook takes, c4, pawn takes, queen takes, rook c8, queen to g4, king slides, rook goes to c1, a6, knight backs, queen to d6, I played h4, threatening to push the pawn to h6, we have b6, h5, rook c7 by them, try to protect the 7th rank. From any source of attacks, I played h6, pressuring on this pawn, and threatening to play rook here, knight here to join the battle as soon as possible, ok rook d7, knight to e2, rook goes to d8, knight goes to g3, threatening to play knight h5 to target this and pressuring on this pawn, they slide their king from this queen's line, so, knight to h5, I can play queen h3 on my next move, to lasering this pawn through the h-file, black can't take the pawn, otherwise you will lose your bishop, so, knight on d3. Rook up to c4, rook goes to f8, queen up to g6, threatening to play knight g5, then queen checkmate on h7 square, so knight back to e5, targeting this, and this, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel, then you can like and subscribe to my stockfish channel to reach me 60k subscribers as soon as possible, I captured the knight with my knight, queen takes knight, rook slides to f4, threatening to play pawn takes check, which will be devastating for you, you might think. The g pawn is well protected by the bishop, queen and the rook, but in reality, the position will be fall if you play any normal looking move, for example, if you think, a5, then pawn takes, takes, rook takes, takes, knight f6, threatening mate in 1, queen g8 mate, if you try to block it with your rook, then queen h6 check, rook blocks, 
takes and checkmate, game will be over, so, back to the position, Magnus and Hikaru finds rook to b8, pawn takes, bishop takes, g3, making a gym place for the king. The king will up and down on there, rook to h4 is coming, knight f6 check, and the position will be destroyed by my atom bomb, if your IQ is above 90, then you can calculate the checkmate sequences on this position, Magnus Carlsen's IQ is 130, he played queen to c3, rook to h4, king slides to g8, queen takes e6 check, targeting the rook at the same time, so, rook to f7, rook on g4, the king is exposed, rook is boxing the bishop, who is try to save the king, and the knight and the rook is targeting the bishop. Which is protected by the queen, and if you play any normal looking move, for example, king f8, then I will check you, and win your rook, if you try to escape your king, then I will capture your f7 rook, so, in this position, Magnus and Hikaru decided to resign the game, I played from this position, and I played rook to d8, rook takes bishop, queen takes rook, knight takes g7, king takes, rook takes b6, king back to f8, queen to e5, a5, rook to h6, rook to d1 check, rook on d7, and rook to h8, checkmate. Rook and queen combination checkmate, wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.